comments from my colleague from Bramley Gore Malton on uh, Bill 52, and basically it's anti-slap legislation, and I'm hopefully going to have the opportunity to speak a bit more this afternoon on that issue. But he raised an issue that I hadn't thought about for a long time, and that's the ugly lawyer letter. <laughs> and, and you know what? I'm sure a lot of us have had those. And I can remember when I first got involved with uh, community groups, with farm organizations, and I can remember my first ugly lawyer letter. And basically, unless I complied with this letter, the sky was going to fall in. And, and you know, when you're 22, 23, and you're, you're just starting out with your business, and you're starting out with your family, maybe I was 25, I can't remember, and you got this letter, and it's sitting on your kitchen table, and you think, okay, so do I continue with this battle? Or, you know, do I throw in the towel right now? And how many good fights, worthwhile causes, have been lost because of, and I'm sure there's a nicer word for it, but I call it the ugly lawyer letter. And he brought up a very good point. This legislation, and we support it. It, it, it is kind of a touchy subject in parts of my writing, in parts of uh, resource industry places. It's a touchy subject, and I'll get into that in my, in my 20 minutes. But we support this legislation from the start, continue to support it, but it doesn't have any impact on the legal professions. You know, the $1,000 lawyer letter. You pay a 1000 they send you an ugly letter, and hopefully you go away. And we do need kind of a training session on on how to equip people to deal with that. Because most of the time when people get involved in these controversies, they come to it innocently enough and they have to learn the hard way. Thank you, Speaker.